Hi, and welcome back to short videos on archaeology. Today we're going to talk about typological chronologies and seriation, and we're going to do so with the help of Starbucks You Are Here mugs. Typological chronologies and seriation are a type of relative dating method that rely on the assumption that artifacts change over time. Unlike absolute dating methods such as radiocarbon dating, relative dating methods don't try to ascribe any particular date to any objects. Instead, they only try to order everything from youngest to oldest or oldest to youngest in a sort of relative sequence or chronology. So typological chronologies work a bit like this. Say you're excavating a house on the outskirts of Taipei in northern Taiwan, and you come across these mugs. Well, they're all Starbucks mugs. They all say Starbucks on them, so they're all the same type of mug. However, there are certain differences to them that might hint at a chronology. So looking at the differences in the mugs, you might start like this. Well, this Istanbul mug is pretty plain. It's got a bridge on the front, a boat on the back, but it's simple. So I'm gonna guess this is our first mug. It's, it's pretty plain. Next, you might pick out this mug because while there's more designs on it, it looks a little bit more complicated, so it might represent some sort of technological advancement. So you put this mug next in your sequence. Moving on, you have two mugs that have similar designs on them. There's this Taiwan mug, and there's this Japan mug. Both are roughly the same shape and size as the first two mugs, so you might put them as your next mugs in the sequence. Following these mugs, you've got this one that's also from Taiwan that has a little bit of a lip on it, but the design on it is a lot like these two mugs. It's these abstract structures. So you might put this as the next in the sequence. Finally, you get to this mug. This is from Hong Kong, and the designs are a lot more realistic, and the shape has changed a lot. So you might say, well, I think this sequence ends with this mug. And that might be the end of it. You might find that this typology works pretty well. Or you might keep digging and find some new mugs that don't quite fit the pattern. This creates a problem. But it's a solvable problem. It's a problem you can rectify with stratigraphy. So while you were digging, you should have been recording where each of these mugs were coming from. If you're just digging in a single trench, your typology problem becomes easily rectifiable because the mugs found closest to the top are probably the youngest, while the mugs found closest to the bottom are probably the oldest. So re-examining your typological chronology in light of the stratigraphy, you might find that, okay, well, we don't have anything coming out of stratigraphic layer 1. This is the uppermost layer of strata, so that might be to be expected because there's not usually a whole lot in there other than just modern junk. Then you might find, okay, these cups are in stratigraphic layer 2. These were the ones that you thought were the youngest, so I guess you were right. So they go up here at the top of your strata. Going down, you find that these mugs we're in stratigraphic layer 3. Okay, so these are the same, so you expected that. Now, however, you get to stratigraphic layer 4, and you have three more that are a lot like your Taiwan and your Japan mugs coming from Europe. Okay, so these are definitely the same type, and then these somehow branch off contemporaneously from these as the core. So they're contemporaries, but they're not quite the same as this. Going down another stratigraphic level, you find that this is from stratigraphic layer 5. So all of these come from this. And then going down further, you find that, okay, this is stratigraphic layer 6, and this is stratigraphic layer 6. So you find two types of mugs that are the progenitor for this type of mug. Finally, going down to your deepest layer, 
you find this mug from New Orleans. But there's no markings to say it's from Starbucks. So you might find that, all right, the Starbucks lineage of mug types actually starts with this, and this is its own thing separate. And so there you have it. You created a simple seriation from the objects you found in one trench, and you put everything into a typological order that makes sense in light of stratigraphy. From this typological chronology, you might begin to then ask questions about change over time in terms of ceramic technology, or you might begin to address other questions. You might notice that there is a stratigraphic layer of Starbucks mugs only from Europe. This might represent some sort of time period where it was easier to get goods from Europe, or it might represent some sort of migration and return event in which the inhabitants of this house moved to Europe and then came back with these goods uh, and left them for the subsequent generation. So you can see that relative chronologies can be useful for answering all kinds of archaeological questions. You don't always need to use the most advanced scientific methods to answer your questions as expensively as possible. Sometimes the simplest and cheapest methods are best. And in case you were wondering, Snoopy was obnoxious all morning and wore himself out, so was not available to be in this video.